Hello viewers, today's question we are about to solve was gotten from Oko somewhere on my comment section. I'm so happy to find out the solution to this problem and I'm glad to share them with you here. So stay with me to the very end of this video because I'm going to walk you through this process one step at a time. So with that being said, let us go over to the question. Okay, we are given that 5m plus 6m upon 4m minus 3m is equal to 1 over 6 and we are asked to find the value of this expression. This question would have been so easy if we know the value of m and the value of n, we will just plug it here and get the value of this expression. But now, it is very impossible to get the distinct value of m and the value of n from a single algebraic equation. It is impossible. But the only thing we can do from this single algebraic equation, we can get the relationship between m and n. And then we can go about and figure out the value of this expression. So how do I get the relationship from this equation 1? So let's get started. So 5n plus 6n upon 4n minus 3n is equal to 1 over 6. I will cross and I will multiply. So I have 6 into 5n plus 6n into 4n minus 3n, okay? This guy is multiplying every quantity here, and this guy is multiplying every quantity here. That's what we have here, okay? So if I distribute with 6, I will have 5 times, 6 times 5n will give me 30n plus, uh, 6 times 6n will give me 36n is equal to 4n minus 3n, okay? So let me quickly take this guy over to this side so we can see clearly. So I have 30n plus 36n uh -huh, is equal to 4n minus 3n. Okay, so the, the first now, the very thing I want to do here, I want to separate the value, the, the terms of n separately. So I want to take the n's to this side and the n's to this side. So I'll take this guy over to this side of the equation and I'll take this guy over to this side of the equation. So I'll have 30n minus 4n is equal to minus 3n minus 36n, okay? Yeah, this is how we collect like terms in Africa. Yeah, 30n minus 4n will give me 26n equal to, then this guy minus this guy will give me minus 39n, okay? Now, I want to divide both sides by 26 and divide both sides by n, so I can get n upon n in the left hand side of this equation so if i divide here by 26 and i divide here by 26 i want to divide here by n and divide here by n so this guy will go out to this guy so i have n upon n and here n will go out to this guy so i have minus 39 upon 26 so this is what i want to get from the equation one so with this uh, ratio of m and n i can find the value of this expression. So I want to put in this expression as n upon n and what I'll do is to divide both sides by n so I can get in this expression n upon n. So bringing this guy here, 6n plus 5n upon minus 3n plus 4n. So if I divide both sides of this expression, I mean, if I divide the numerator and the denominator with n, I will have 6n upon n plus 5n upon n all upon minus 3n upon n plus 4n upon n, okay? So that this n will cancel out this n and this n will cancel out this n. So I am left with 6n upon n plus 5 all upon minus 3n upon n plus 4. So at this point, we are progressing, okay? So we know the value of m upon n from equation 1. So I will just simply plug in m upon n in this expression so I can finalize my solution. So m upon n is minus 39 upon 26. So this guy becomes 6 into minus 39 upon 26 plus 5 all over minus 3 into minus 39 upon 26 plus 4. 
of course, 2 here is 3 and 2 here is 13. And um, 3 times this guy will give me minus 117 um, upon 13 plus 5. I will say 13 upon 13 because I want them to have the same denominator so I can easily add or subtract the numerator. So all over. Um, this guy and this guy will give me 117 upon 26 plus 4 into 26 upon 26. Okay, so at this point, we are progressing and we are close to our final answer. So let me clean this side of the board so I can complete our solution. Okay. Now, at this point, I want to distribute 5 to 13 and distribute 4 to 26. So I'll have um, here, I'll have minus 117 upon 13 plus 5 times 13 is 5 times 3 is 15. Um, 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1, so I have 65 upon 13, all divided by. 117 upon 26 plus so 4 times 26. So at, at this point, I'm sorry, I'm going to pull out my calculator. So 4 times 26, I have 104 upon 26. Okay, so here it's so easy now for me to get the value of 1 and the numerator and the denominator. So I can go ahead and say uh, this old guy is equal to minus 117 plus 65 over 13. All divided by 117 plus 104 over 26. Okay, so uh, here I'll get 117 minus this guy will give me. So this guy minus this guy will give me uh, minus 52 over 13. All divided by this guy and this guy will give me uh, four. This guy will give me one. Um, here will give me two, and here will give me two over 26. So I can further express this guy as 52 over 13 minus uh, divided by 221 over 26. So when we change division to multiplication, these guys will definitely change their position. So I have times here. So I have 26 upon 221. Yes. So, so the next thing I want to do is um, I want to I want to cancel out to 13 years 1. 13 here is 2, and this guy times this guy will give me minus uh, 4 and uh, 1, 0, all upon 2, 2, 1. Yes, so I think this is the solution to the problem that we are giving. So the value of 6n plus 5n upon minus 3n plus 6, 4n is just minus 1, 0, 4 upon 2 to 1. I hope this is an easy method for you and I believe you understood clearly what we did here. So if you do really understand the solution, please put it down in the comment section that you understood what we did and I'll be so grateful to see that. See you in our next tutorial. Have a nice day. Bye.